In this episode, I get Realm's Kotlin multi-platform sample app running on Android and iOS. Welcome to another episode of TouchLab Touchpoints. I'm Justin Mancinelli. It's been a long time in the making, but the Kotlin version of Realm is out, and it comes with a delightful surprise. It's not just Kotlin, it's Kotlin multi-platform. Realm started as a lightweight NoSQL database for embedded systems in 2010. It became very popular on mobile very quickly after the Realm mobile platform launched in 2016. Now I started my career as a backend dev around 2010. That was a time of big shifts in database technology, or at least people's acceptance of new database technologies. Within just a few years, we saw the rise of the likes of MongoDB, Redis, and Cassandra running on servers, ushering in an era of big data and web scale applications. To me, the frenzy around Realm in 2016 looked similar to what I saw happening on the back end not long before. As it turns out, 2016 is in the middle of the trend towards native multi-platform technologies, which I described as the modern era of computing in my 2019 talk, The Future of Cross-Platform is Native. Was it just coincidence that Realm launched a native SDK for Android and iOS in 2016, or is it part of a trend? Either way, it was fortunate timing for Realm and for mobile application developers. While Realm was riding the native mobile wave, MongoDB was losing developer interest. Between 2015 and 2017, search trends for MongoDB stagnated and began a descent. Recognizing mobile being a gap in their product offerings, MongoDB announced Stitch Mobile in 2017. Stitch Mobile allowed mobile applications to synchronize with MongoDB instances running in the cloud, but that wasn't good enough, and by early 2019, they had released MobileSync for Android and iOS, allowing mobile apps to access a locally embedded version of MongoDB. I don't know how long acquisitions take, but I find it very interesting that a mere three months after announcing MobileSync for iOS, MongoDB acquired Realm. Presumably, they'd been in talks for longer than three months, and they continued developing and releasing MobileSync in case the acquisition fell apart. But that's pure speculation on my part, so I will stop talking about that. Instead, let's talk about unifying code across platforms. The first few hints of MongoDB's code unification strategy became visible soon after the Realm acquisition. During MongoDB World in 2019, MongoDB CTO Elliot Horowitz and Realm co-founder Alex Digson spoke about their plans for Realm at MongoDB. With a title like MongoDB Realm Unifies Mobile, Web, and Backend Development, you know they're being serious about it. I noticed they had already done work to unify the architecture patterns across Stitch, iOS, Android, and Web SDKs. So I asked Elliot if they planned to unify their SDKs through shared code, and of course I suggested Kotlin Multiplatform as a good fit. He responded, yes, unifying the code is the plan, as well as greatly improving Kotlin's support. The proof that this was not just talk and empty promises came when Realm spoke at DroidCon APAC at the end of 2020. And with the recent publication of the JetBrains case study, it's now official. It's funny that iOS isn't mentioned in the JetBrains post, and not in the repos readme either. I needed to know whether they were touting Kotlin multi-platform, but only supporting JVM and Android targets, like so many KMP projects do. But I did find the sample app that includes iOS in the repo. Surely they wouldn't have that there if it didn't work. Only one way to find out. First thing to note is that they only support x86-64 and ARM64. They spell that out, but of course I didn't read, so I ran into issues until switching to an x86-64 emulator. Don't waste your time like I did. I ran the Android configuration straight from Android Studio, and it worked nicely. The app isn't anything to write home about, but the whole point was to see this running on iOS. But smoke test complete, it works on Android. Their sample is based on the JetBrains sample, which recommends installing the KMM plugin for Android Studio, but I didn't have that installed, and I wanted to see results fast, so being familiar with TouchLab's camp kit, I opened up the terminal and ran Gradle build. Second thing to note is they don't support release builds for iOS yet. I tracked down an issue to figure that out, and again, don't waste your time like I did. Once I built the debug framework, I was able to open up Xcode, run the build, and there I saw it. The sample app 
running in my iPhone simulator, persisting data in Kotlin multi-platform Realm. So yay, it works. Will this revitalize MongoDB and Realm? I have no idea, but I am super excited. I'm also very happy that they put in the effort. It was definitely worth the wait. If you are trying out Realm in your multi-platform mobile app, reach out to TouchLab. We'd be interested in chatting privately or publicly if you're up to it. Thank you for listening. And remember to subscribe to hear more TouchLab Touchpoints.